Hello and welcome to Your California Life. I'm your host, Desiree Shepard. I recently got to speak with a really special young man named Damien and his mother, Heather. Their family story highlights the battle against cancer that many young kids face. The work of St. Jude Children's Research Hospital helps these families while supporting them in their journey. Check it out. So what was Damien's diagnosis? So Damien's diagnosis is, um, they call it common, but it's a medulloblastoma. There are technically five forms of medulloblastoma, and each of those five have seven mini subtypes in them. So part of the research that he was a part of is that they're trying to figure out what gene caused the mutation so that they can treat just that portion and not have to treat his whole, your whole the kid the child's whole body. So like he unfortunately got the whole body, but the goal is that because of his form how they treated him, they'll be able to take that and they discovered what gene mutated for him already so that they can go and treat and modify based on what cancer drugs are available or other drugs are available that aren't currently used for cancer treatment. And then how many surgeries did he have to have? So he had two resections, one uh, G-tube replacement, which is a feeding tube straight to his stomach, a G-tube, uh, and initial, so he's had two G-tube replacements. He had a pick line put in, and then he had the pick line surgery pulled out, and then he had the G-tube surgery to pull it out, and then Not hit. Um, he had a cuff removal. Because normally you can leave the cuff in from the pick line and it just doesn't do anything to the kids and it'll biodegrade on its own. Unfortunately, his body said, um, no, this is not normal, get out. So he's had in total somewhere between nine and 10 surgeries since the age of, between the age of five and six. And you're how old though? 14. 14. I was, uh, I was awake for the, um, for the initial tube removal right here. How was that? So it hurt, it hurt for like a second, and then I just saw, I looked down and I just saw all the, a pool of blood on my chest. Having so many surgeries and working with St. Jude through this, how did St. Jude help in facilitating and helping through all of this? They're really good about explaining everything to you and calming your nerves and answering any and all questions. It may seem like the most ridiculous question to you, as a parent, but to them, they're like, no, it's important because it's, you know, it's, you're, it, you're worried about it. So tell us the question and they'll help and they walk you through it. So um, even the things that weren't surgery, like uh, the child life specialists that we had would come in and talk and show him pictures or when we were considering doing MRIs awake and on sleep, they would show him they have a mock MRI machine and they're like, okay, do you want to try it? We can try it. And it has the sounds, it has the movements, you lay down it and does the same thing. And when he needed to go in and have the cuff surgery, he was worried about the surgery. So the child life specialist showed him the surgery room, showed him everything. The nurses walked him through everything they were gonna do prior to. So it's, you don't just get slammed with it you actually get everything explained to you, which is nice because your nerves as a parent are way up there and you're trying to stay calm for, for their sake and they're probably just as nervous and they'll answer the kids' questions too. What does St. Jude mean to you, Heather? St. Jude Children's Day Hospital to me means that I get to have a support team. I get to have my child functioning as best as he can function. Um, and I get that support team that if I feel something's off, I can call and say, hey, I feel something's off, here's what's going on. And they can answer my question and they'll answer my question no matter how far out we are. He could be 35 years old and I could still call and they will still support me. And I'm grateful for that. People who aren't sure if they should donate to St. Jude, why do you think they should, Mom? It may sound ridiculous, but you know, $100 is a week's worth of food. $100 is platelets that they may need when they're down. Um, even $10 covers little things like strawberries in the cafeteria or ring pops. Um, it covers the little craft things that they do. It helps 
take something that could be a lifetime of misery and make it um, not so miserable and more happy and just give you nice memories instead of always the not so fun memories as I call them. Thank you to Heather and Damien for sharing your story. This family has been through so much and the fact that St. Jude has been able to help them is inspiring. And in those efforts, you can reserve your St. Jude Dream Home giveaway ticket by today and you'll be eligible to win the house and the bonus prize, gas for a year, courtesy of Mix Market and Shell. Call 800-564-8758 or visit any one of the participating Patelco Credit Union branches to reserve your ticket for only $100 and help St. Jude Children's Research Hospital continue its life-saving work. Tickets are selling fast. You could win a house. You will make a difference in the lives of children with cancer.